Kurt Sasser here from TGT Web Comics. We're right here at C2E2 and being invaded by the Swedish creators of these three fine novels. And we're going to get to Simon with 120 Days of Simon. <laughs> it's almost like Mouse Guard Legend of the Guard. Exactly. Simon. The 120 Days of Simon. Oh, really amazing. You know, 120 Days of Simon, you know, this type of comic at a convention, you know, Top Shelf is a great production company. How did they find you? Top Shelf uh, distributed this um, Swedish comic book anthology in English. And then uh, the guys at Galago invited uh, Chris over to Sweden, to the Swedish SPX. And uh, he saw our books there and uh, we translated some of them, me and Mats, and then uh, called Manget side as well. And they decided to do the Swedish invasion. That's great. I, you know, we, we have a lot of a lot of fans from Sweden, from Finland, in that northern region, and you know they, they love to showcase their works. I mean, they're a friendly group of people. I love the fact that you guys are here at C2E2, and, and you're really promoting yourselves. And and you know, I can't believe that you know I'm I'm, I'm being invaded by Swedes here today. <laughs> but it, which, but you know, talk a little bit about, uh, about yourself, Simon. You know, how did you get involved with with comics? Uh, I started in Sweden. Uh, everybody reads uh comics as kids almost like we read a comic called uh, Bamse it's a bear who eats uh, some super honey and gets uh, super strong and he's also like really leftish communist -y guy uh, and after that most kids do you just draw comics and I, I hung out with like older guys at my uh, school who draw comics or even before school and we uh, drew some superhero comics and then uh, uh, as a young teenager, I discovered uh, underground stuff like Crumb and uh, yeah, stuff like that. Great. Well, tell us a little bit about the 120 Days of Simon here, because this is your your main work you want to promote. Yeah. Uh, it's a graphic novel, an autobio piece, where I travel around Sweden and stay at, at like 96 homes in 120 days, and I draw comics about it. And uh, it's a lot of scandal involved. Sex, drugs, beat. I get beaten up by teenagers, and it's a lot of a lot of stuff happen, and it's also somewhat of a love story. And uh, I tried to uh, put in as much embarrassing stuff that happened to me during the trip. Yes. Well, you know, scandal sells, sex sells, and all that stuff. But really, you know, the auto autobiographical pieces are, are sometimes hard to put off. But if you throw in that bit of comedy, as you said, you, you, you've done here, you know, it kind of can take the edge off of, off of what really happened. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? You throw in all of these elements. You yeah. throw in comedy, um, yeah. you know, uh, action. You throw in the fact that, you know, scandal, sex. You, but sometimes it can be a little dark. Do you lighten up the mood at any, at any point in time, or is this more along the lines of your your life in these, these times? This is kind of light, but it has its dark moments. Uh, it's like... Uh, I want you to laugh, but like uh, you get a little uh, annoyed too by it. M many people said it's a bit disturbing <laughs> because it, it's a bit provocative at the same time. But it's light and it's funny. Well, you know, C2E2 is a, a brand new convention. We really, you know, we really enjoy new talent. From what I've seen, there's some amazing people. I'm glad you're here. But when when you go back to Sweden, when you go back home, yeah. and and you pack up, what personal experiences are you going to take with you from this event? Uh, the best uh, experience I had where it was when I went to the the reading with uh, Chris Ware, Dash Shaw, and Chip Kid, and in the audience, uh, Ivan Brunetti was and I got a chance to meet him and I gave him his comics and talked a little bit and I also uh, did that with Chris Ware and the other thing was when I found uh, I got a collection of uh, Fat Man the Human Flying Saucer by C.C. Beck from 1967 and I found the two remaining issues I lacked to my to complete my collection oh, wow. on this convention so I'm, uh, I'm the happiest man in the world 
Well, you know, thanks a lot, Simon. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this interview. We'll go on to your other Swedish cohorts here. And over to Colbin. Over to Colbin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, sir.